Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome back to the Commissar Show. As always, I'm Kristoff, and today I have a very, very special guest. With me here is Mr. B. Baker, the one and only. Brennan? Oh, thank you for inviting me over, Kristoff. We've been friends since grade five, was it? That's right. Straight from the, the woke of the Jessies. Today we're going to witness the epic battle between Big Harvey Birdman, God of Scleria, and Dwayne the Rock Johnson, the Scorpion King, <laughs> uh, leading the armies, the the, the Zul, not Zulu Spider Rider tribes of Machaca. So, the epic battle occurs here in Apernia. This river here will be choked in blood. That thick river you see right there. Which apparently is not in this map. So here we are. The, there's the Scalarian legions, formed mainly of starving princeps. Oh yeah. And uh, I guess there's some battle vessels here too. I leave them hungry for battle and victory. That's right. That's what they're. That's why they're starving. They're hungry for battle. And here are the, the Zulu spider rider hordes. Of which they're hungry for Zulu babies. That's right. The the, the spiders are uh, weaned specific. The holy tarantulas are weaned specifically on a diet consisting entirely of the firstborn children of my uh, peoples. Which because that's that's what Dwayne the Rock Johnson means. And uh, where where is he? Let's. Let's he find Dwayne. Here to write, I believe. Or he's kinda hard to miss. There he is. Dwayne the Rock Johnson, the Scorpion King. He is the King of Kings. Kings. <laughs> Fortifier. Master of volcanic fire. Lord of the Lord of the Soil. He wow, is the master cool. of poo. That is such a drop off in title. <laughs> King of Kings to Lord of the Soil. You're not doing well. What comes of your bum is my lordship. Ha <laughs> ha. Also spiders. I am the master of pecs. <laughs> and over here to the left uh, is this opposition. The opposition is the great, the legendary. Uh, uh, not not the terminus. He's, he's <laughs> cool, but not, there we go. Big Harvey Birdman, Raven of the Underworld. He's got he's got some great subtitles here. Master of many names, he who was at the center, guardian of the dead, Lord of rolling the doubles, <laughs> master of insolence. He's a pretender god. Trying to, you can read that. Banish all other pretenders and become a true god. He's a bird, so I don't know why he feels he's gonna be a god now. He's a limp bird. How do you have a? He's like, oh, and we can't ignore the fact that we gave him two fake arms, so now he's got two hands, which we didn't put anything on there. But who yeah. cares? He's, he's got, he's got. He's two. got two fists compared to everyone else. <laughs> he's a bird with two fists. Yeah, he's gonna fucking punch you. He's gonna make objections. <laughs> Looks like you've uh, apparently summoned a giant douche to fight me. Well, with your spiders, I think it's only fair to have a bigger douche. Well, uh, yeah, I guess the only way to defeat a spider is to drown it in water, right? Uh, that or put it in a jar and leave it outside. Mm -hmm. Or swat it with a newspaper. Ah, uh, but that leaves spider guts everywhere. Yeah, you can, you can hear them throwing newspapers at me. <laughs> See, and it works. <laughs> it works for like two minutes into this fight. So, um, yeah, we saw uh, Assassin's Creed yesterday. Uh, it was, um... A movie. <laughs> Do you have any? Let's hear your opinions. Mine's pretty negative, but I think you were a bit more fair to it than I was. So let's let's hear what you got to say All about right. it first. Thank you. My take on it is, it unlike most Beetle Game movies, you can have no experience with the series and still watch it, and you'll probably have a better time. So is it's, that is that what you felt like you you? It, because well, you you haven't played any of the Assassin's Creed games, have you? Yeah, not in this decade, no. Well, so, yeah, exaggeration, but... Oh, well, I played the first one, which I never beat because I got bored of it. And I and I beat the second one, and, I, and it, it really lost me. Because at the end of the second one, and you guys can feel free to comment if I get this wrong, but you get to the center of the Vatican, and you find out that the Templars are actually... Fuck you, it's a shitty spoiler, okay? It doesn't matter. If you if you care about the series, you can go fuck yourself. Oh, man. It's, it's already like six games in, and they haven't resolved the storyline, so it doesn't matter. They're never going to resolve it, because they love to make more games off the ultra vagaries. Yeah. Um, so anyways, you find out that the, that the Templar are serving some kind of weird space genies that are like... Deity. Jedi. They're like aliens that are born from the sun, or something, something some weird shit like that. And they're trying to prevent the sun from exploding and killing everyone. It's oh. really, really confusing. I mean, I'm, I'm probably expl explaining it wrong, but at the same time, it was so confusing, it didn't really 
I didn't really understand it completely anyways. Yeah, you must... But, basically, it introduces aliens, which didn't need to be in there. And it introduced, uh, a, like, oh, well, this is part of a bigger story, oh, so it's more important. No, it's not, okay? <laughs> it's a perfectly serviceable story about the fucking people in, in medieval fucking Europe doing medieval shit. And then, you, first of all, you ruin it with science fiction crap. Another big problem with the movie, because they have all this animus stuff going on, which, um... Which, uh, is, if you remember how they did the animus in the games, you lay on a bed. Yeah. In the movie, you're on a fucking centrifuge, just <laughs> flipping around in the air, and apparently that is how your brain is reacting to genetic memories. Yeah, this movie should be called, instead of Assassin's Creed, it should be called Michael Fassbender in a blender singing crazy... <laughs> That's my favorite scene in the movie. He's just singing crazy for feeling so long, and you can you can tell he doesn't give a fuck. Oh, at that point, it's like I, I don't I don't even think he knew the camera was rolling. He's just like strapped in that thing, singing that song. And then I, uh, Michael, you know we're rolling right now. Like, all right, just go with it. Whatever, we'll put it in the film. <laughs> well, the editors forced it. I'm sure. You're a fucking accomplished actor. You've been fucking Magneto. You've been in way better movies than this shit. We'll just. Whatever. I don't even know how much Ubisoft paid, but it wasn't enough. Yeah. And, um, how about this? Did you like this better than Doom? Which is another Dwayne The Rock Johnson movie? That's unfortunate for everyone involved. Uh, I did like it better than Doom. Doom was, it just felt very one note, very repetitive. But Doom had that kick ass scene at the very end that was all first person shootery. Okay, did that part right, but the rest of the movie, very passable. This film, Assassin's Creed, didn't so much have anything directly reminiscent of the games. Oh, we gotta talk about oh, how, fine. um, no, well, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what mo which much is going on in this battle. There's, oh, there's, there, they've just been kind of in a stalemate here of throwing fire and fucking nets at each other. <laughs> So, when something changes, well, well, we're watching it, guys, don't worry. It's not just us rambling about Assassin's fucking... Uh, shitty video game movies. Shitty video game movies. Well, you know what? They should know better by the... Because Doom came out, what, like six years ago? At least. 2010? By now, they should know, at least have a better formula on how to make a less garbage fucking video game movie. Um, spoilers for anyone who plans on seeing this. Go fuck yourselves. Um, oh, man. Again, with the Assassin's Creed spoilers, um, but they're looking for the Apple of Eden, which turns out to be in the tomb of Christopher Columbus, which turns out to be just in the Vatican. In the Vatican, no, uh, in London, actually. But they, remember, they go to London, the temple there at the end. Whatever. It turns out to be in their own fucking shack. Like they should know already that. Oh yeah, the thing that we buried one of our saints with. Yeah, we, they, apparently the apple was there the whole time. We didn't need. To, we could have just taken a fucking look. Yeah. What I don't get is trying to convince a church to destroy a holy artifact mentioned explicitly in the Old Testament or New Testament, but this Old Testament. And they won't destroy it. They'll maybe hide it from people, but they won't make a point of destroying it. And yet, that was the focus of the Templars in this here film. No, they didn't want to destroy the Apple of Eden. They they wanted to like it contained the genetic code for free. I know this sounds fucking stupid. Oh, it's very First of all, fuck you, Be Wolf Man. I don't care you're playing Shadow Warrior. Oh, man. <laughs> don't worry, I'll let you know I'm playing Civilization um, in about half hour. Yeah, apparently Brennan is still playing Civilization in his computer in Linden, and he's been playing it for like the last three days because he hasn't shut his computer off. <laughs> That's how good I am. <laughs> but. Um. Sorry, the Apple of Eden contains a genetic code for free will, and they want to take the Apple of Eden and decode it so they can stop people from thinking for themselves, because that'll eliminate the Assassin Order. The Apple of Eden is actually explicitly referenced in the Levain Satanism's Bible as a gift from Satan for giving people free will, so now they're referencing uh, Satanism as much as Christianity in this film. Well, I mean... Levain Bible. The other, so. Bible is just a piece of fiction. I mean, I guess it's all fiction, but it's I was gonna there, say, there, there's canon and there's non-canon. Yeah, once you gambles, once a book. <laughs> yes. That caused an awkward silence. 
No, there's only spiders. <laughs> the, only, the only thing breaking spines is the casing of spiders. What a lovely place this is. Yeah, let's have another sweeping helicopter shot like in the movie. The movie has about 18 of these, but we'll only have a few of them. Whoa, uh, look at all these people fighting. Look Whoa. at the skulls on shields, <laughs> fashion statements, spiders. Oh, that's a lead spider. Support him in his reign of terror. Oh, he's fucking screwed. He's surrounded by princeips. Yeah, and the princeips are all hungry and running away from everything. Well, they're gonna eat spider legs. Okay, spider legs are apparently tasty, right? High protein, very efficient for that. Mm hmm. And they're hairy, too. Well, come on, he can't be that picky. <laughs> And you can't ask a spider to shave. Oh my god. There's have to be a multi machocket unit to shave one of these things. Well, they're gonna have a fucking Gillette Star Wars Rogue One commercial where the guy shaves a spider. Do you remember that when we watched Rogue One last week? There was a retarded Gillette commercial where, like, the guy shaves himself and then goes out in the fucking desert to go die. <laughs> yeah, so it's so good that you want to die, Melee, huh? You want to fight the... No, it says it says every story has a face or some shit like that. Not every story has a beard. Burn those does. It's a good story, though. B B the B is for beard, not for baker. This guy is. <laughs> so, um, let's see, the Sclarian Legions seem to be doing quite well. We got back here, Harvey Birdman with his block of, um, what are these guys? Legacist Legion us. Oh, they're well fed, yeah, that's fine. Feed them. <laughs> so we all roam. We have this, uh, Zero, who's a lizard man. He's Shaka old. Zero. He's 213 years old, Jesus Christ. He's doing alright. He's doing pretty good for his age, apparently. I, I like his hat. Uh, Got a little pointy yellow bit there. So that's how you live to age. Get a pointy hat. That's right. And Darth Vader. Dar Darth, Darth Tractor. The Bane Lord. The Bane Lord. Yes, he, he's, he's surrounded by a, an aura of numbing cold, which all these guys apparently are like... Hugging him, they're like, oh yeah, oh that sweet cold, oh I love it so much. Oh now they're going into combat. Um, oh, wait, are they going into combat? Maybe they're just st they're trying to stay behind troops and they're getting a bit closer. You've summoned a, a long dead guy here. Yay. Yay, one skeleton. What about these guys, soulless warriors? Oh, they're, they're the zombies of the people who just got murdered. Makes sense. I mean, some countries you go into retirement. Us? Fuck you, you're a zombie. Work for us. Or you set your people on fire and send them to combat, like this poor guy here. Yeah, these are or that guy dedicated here. to their god. Oh no, the spider's burning too. That's why we do such <laughs> things. If it lights a spider on fire, it's a success. No matter how many soldiers we lose doing it. Oh, oh, the the prince type legions. Are, I, I can't believe I didn't notice this until just now, but one of your legions, I guess there's about like 120 guys. They're okay. fucking falling back. I'm sure the viewers can see that little purple flag we have them rallying behind. Yeah, that's this, this one it's here. supposed to make them all happy to fight for me and willing to stand their ground. Morale 10. They're routing because they're starving. That's it? Everything else is a bonus. Oh, hostile dominion. That's minus one though, but... That's kind of by that. Why are they routing? A bunch of fucking pussies. Fighters! That's why. Look, the, the, they just, they, they're literally looking at the commanders as they're like, Oh, hi guys. Uh, just don't mind us. We're um, <laughs> oh, we heard we're making a tac tactical tactical withdrawal. Uh, we're space <laughs> marines. We don't fall back. We make tactical withdrawals. <laughs> See you later. We'll just send the the V lights in to fight for us. Uh, and these guys are like, ah, -lights. Like disease. <laughs> <laughs> v lights, the grots of my army. Mm. You want to see the grots of my army? Where are they? Where are my sweet pygmy hordes? <laughs> They're somewhere in here. I got some pygmies. Oh, these. These Machakins are fleeing. The pygmy They've lines. had enough. Oh, banishment. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, ha I have archers? When did that happen? Well, you bought a couple of them from one of your little provinces. Thought it would be the big advantage. We had spiders. Well, you've clearly wrapped around this end here, and your uh, battle vessels are going to destroy them. I decided battle vessels, they're a good choice for I the reason my... of Oh, board. here they are. Yay, Machakin pygmies. This one's experienced. Yeah, what? Uh, lives a people of short men. They are weak, but sometimes useful as archers. <laughs> also useful as cannon fodder. But don't tell them. <laughs> I find it a little offensive. They give them automatically just a short bow. To them, it's all relative. I 
can't find Limpy. I had um I had a spider spider lord commander and uh the uh the guy riding the spider got diseased and died, so only the mount was left, but the mount had a leadership skill as well, so he ended up just le leading his own spiders. Which is pretty cool when you think about it. An intelligent spider commander. I want one. <laughs> Me too. I don't, like why, why bother with the dude on top? All you really want is a spider anyway. Like this this brave spider here. It's starving. It's hungry for battle. And uh, more more legionnaires decide that they're fat enough of this shit. They clearly have the numbers to win, but they just could give less of a fuck. They're hungry. And offer victory, apparently. Wow, they're hungry for fucking having a hot bath. <laughs> but look at all these guys that are... Look at all my people that are running away. All these fucking machock and hordes and these hoplites who are apparently... No, that's not a hoplite. These hop hoplites who are apparently supposed to be brave formation fighters... Or just fucking, ah, oh, they don't care anymore. Uh, uh, break formation and run. <laughs> run with the spiders. Right past ones. your god, because a lot of people yeah. are cool doing that. And his his spider warriors were also starving. This one's Oh, there's Limpy. Well, that's a different one. It's a spider warrior, but he is Limpy. No, Limpy is a, a straight-up spider, but I can't find him. He looks exactly like every other spider that there is. Oh, look at them all go. Run, run, you cowards. Here, oh, I forgot to talk about my prophet, Django the Unchained. He's uh, quick, and he's also kitted out with all sorts of shit. He's got... He's holding a shield and two weapons, because he's got this copper arm. Which I think... I, I'm not sure if we mentioned or not, but Harvey Birdman also has two arms. Any experience? That's Horatius the prophet. Still good, still good. Here we go. We decided for the lulz to give the bird two arms, so there you go. He's not holding anything, but he can punch you. <laughs> and why do you react when a bird punches you? <laughs> you but surrender. That's an American eagle. That's the only kind of bird that punches you. <laughs> Still not protecting the United States. Aren't they off the endangered species list, though? Or no? Uh, Maybe I'm thinking about bison. So, your guys have... Enough of them have started fleeing that the spider knights have made a flanking maneuver. We still have the northern fort here with your legionnaires and your battle vessels, but I, like I have the, the southern vestals. end. I like them because they got his form. They're the, they're the real fucking vessels. The real. Whoops, that's not them. And they also don't need to eat, so they're not, they don't have pants morale. <laughs> need not eat. Yay. Trolls eat stones, and animated beings are mad. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. They're good. They're undying. That's how you... If you guys play Scalaria, I read this on the internets. Take these guys and get undying on them. And they, then they have extra hit points. All right. Um, where's uh, where's Darth? Oh, here we go. Darth, Darth Vader, Darth Tractor, <laughs> gonna fight some spiders off for us. These while his while his friendly legionnaires fucking book at the hell out of here. He doesn't need help. Watch this. He's gonna just chunk this spider right here to his left. Well, he just killed the rider. Now the, now the spider is decaying. He's purple. Yeah. yeah, he's decaying. He'll right, die, die in these. nine minutes. I'm gonna die for a few minutes. Come now. And this poor dude here. No, not him. Yeah, Terminus. Oh, poor Terminus. He's weakened and he's also covered in a net. Yeah, oh, he's so, dead. He yeah. just literally got erased. Good. He will be buried. Wait, no, he's erased. He'll be re no, he'll be remembered either. We'll remember Terminus as the guy who died like a puss. Darth Vader, he just took out one giant ass spider. One move. He's gonna kill us. He's gonna kill this guy here. I bet. Oh, there he goes. He just killed the rider. He has an issue with riders. Boy, I can't kill them both at the same time. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. It's that's a lot of spiders. Oh, we need a sweeping helicopter shot for this. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That's fine. I ordered my uh, god there, the bird, cast spells. He doesn't appear to be too interested. Oh, he just he just booked it. Yay. Because Baraka cast Banishment and Zamboni to Ice Cleaner cast Heal. That's probably why. And the armies of Scalaria are routed because Big Harvey Birdman decided, fuck it, I've had enough of the spider bullshit. <laughs> yes. And what else can we say? Oh, you wanna. I know that this battle's almost over, but you want to give our folks here who are watching, in case anyone's new to this, a quick rundown of Dominions. 
because this probably looks really, really odd to you guys. Because it is. Because it is. I mean, all these just sprites wiggling around and sh shooting effects at each other when, and barely making any animations. Alright, I'll break it down for our lovely audience here. In the Dominion series, you control a pretender god trying to take the throne of the patch crater, the over god who is left, passed on. He's not there anymore. He's gone slacker. missing. Slacker, yeah. Where's Waldo? Where's Panto Pretoro? <laughs> <laughs> so they all decide, oh, let's take our countries and go to war, and last person standing or last person uh, holding all these thrones that are only present in this Dominion, weirdly enough, mm -hmm. uh, can then become the chief god. And that's how you win the game. Become chief god by killing all the other countries, or holding the thrones. Also, isn't it your dominion? Uh, just covers the map. <coughs> um, What's their condition? I'm not too familiar with that. If you have really, really high dominion, you can... No, I'm not sure. Because if your god is still alive, he still spreads his own dominion. By the way, we just watched some wolves show up and then get slaughtered by your infantry. Yeah, made me feel better. There he goes, there he goes! Oh no! A limpy wolf! <laughs> Run! See, this is really humane. We let the limpy uh, wolf run away. I think we should get credit for that. Alright, folks. It's been great having you here. If you've watched it till the end, thank you so much. Brandon, thank you for joining me. You're very welcome. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode, whenever that may be. I'm moving at the end of the month, so I appreciate all your time and patience. And as always, stay awesome. Yeah, all right. So this is what they say. 420 is a code term used primarily in North America that refers to the consumption of cannabis and, by extension, a way to identify oneself with cannabis subculture. That's not what mine says. What is, what is yours say? Mine says uh, 420 was the birthday of Austrian-born German politician and the leader of the National Socialist German Workers' Party, a fella went by the name of Adolf Hitler. Um, observances based on the number 420 include smoking cannabis around the time 420 p.m. as well as on the date April 20th. No, what date is that? What year? Uh, this was this around 1970. No, this is 1945. What kind of computer do you have? It's a Mac. It's a Mac. Mine's a Dell. I like a Dell. I know we covered that. Um, but this guy, there's a picture of him. Adolf Hitler. Very compelling kind of a figure. Odd looking duck. But there's something about his eyes. Hypnotic. Anyway, a widely discussed story says that a, a group of teenagers in San Rafael, California, used the term in connection to a, a fall 1971 plan uh, to search for an abandoned cannabis crop that they had learned about. Huh? The, His eyes are almost entirely black. Um, they, they he was a decorated veteran of World War I. <laughs> and he joined the war. Hold the fort. He hated Jews. Um, these guys, they, they plan to meet precisely. You know what he reminds me of? Huh. Dave. My best oh, friend, Dave. Yeah, I know Dave. That guy hates Jews. He sure does. I hear about it all the time. I'm thinking of breaking up our friendship. <laughs> it's probably a good idea. But anyways, you know what? I'm sick of these kind of characters. I think we should kill Hitler. Me and you, go suicide. Kill him. Got it. It's like died 50 years ago, probably. Did he? I didn't yeah. even know he was sick. He wasn't. Well, no, that's that's fine. I wish I could find a Hitler of today and go kill him. <laughs>